Hello, Tauruses. Hello to all of the Tauruses out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the third week in March. This reading is for all of the Tauruses out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the third week in March. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your moon, Venus, and rising sign. Videos, cross watchers are welcome as well. If, the, if you like the way I do my readings, my energy, or you just want to show some support, hit the thumbs up image. So that this video reaches someone else that may need clarity, enlightenment, guidance, or a kind word. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe link along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Alright, Taurus, let's cut this deck and get your reading started. Okay. Spirit, what is the energy for my Tauruses? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. What is this Queen of Cups here? For the sign of Taurus. Okay. We have the Justice card. Libra's energy is here. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why? Okay. We have the Strength card in the reverse. Leo's energy. The Five of Pentacles. energy for my Tauruses. Too many cards. I don't need that many. What is the energy for my Tauruses? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Take these three. The Six of Pentacles. The Two of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, some of you are going to be celebrating um, some of you may also be coming into um, money. You may be looking for a new home with your partner with this four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Stability may be coming into your love situation. You may have um, some type of peace and contentment regarding a love situation. Because you followed your heart. Could be you, could be your partner. You listened to your intuition. You stood up for what you believed in. And with this justice card, I feel like justice has been served. Libra's energy. Justice has been served. Could be around the Libra or have Libra in your chart. With the eight of cups here. You may have had to walk away or move away from someone or some type of negative energy. And you chose to make a bigger um, decision to have change in your life. Some of you may have left a home or may 
be thinking about leaving a home behind with this eight of cups wanting a new beginning to come in with this seven of wands some of you may have um needed to stand up for what you believe in make um wise decisions you cho choosing your battles wisely guarding yourself against nonsense because you don't have the strength for it that's why you don't have the strength for the nonsense anymore leo's energy And with this five of wands, either you or your person, someone may be thinking negatively. Um, yeah, someone is thinking negatively. Trying to pull you into their energy and you're not having it. You, you're guarding yourself against their person. You don't have the strength for their nonsense. And remember this, um, the energy in this reading could go vice versa. This could be you, could be your partner with this six of pentacles. I see you trying to have balance and stability in your life at this time. Some of you could be sharing money with other people. Um, someone may have a handicap, but I feel like um, unexpected money is coming in. And you've been good to people, so you may be um, receiving, like, a gift or something. Yeah. Sharing your wealth with other people. Yep, see? Two of, sword, two of, two of pentacle. I'm um, two of pentacle. <laughs> two of cups. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, exchanging gifts. I see you giving to others. Could be um, specifically given to your romantic partner. And with this four of pentacles here, you're managing what you have um, wisely. You're not just like overindulging in things. You're managing your resources, your finances wisely at this time. Okay. Okay. You're trying to, um, I, I feel like you're trying to promote growth, financial growth, manifest financial growth. And you don't have time for um, a negative partner. That's what, that's what I'm seeing. Let me know, comment below and let me know if this is you or your partner. Yeah. The lovers, Gemini energy. So... Your partner is making a decision. There's a decision to make. Okay. Let's see. Your partner has a decision to make. There's definitely a Libra in your environment. This justice card then popped out again. Or a Taurus. This is your energy too. No. Libra's energy. I'm sorry. But um, I see Libra and Gemini. Your partner has a decision pertaining to a legal matter or pertaining to balancing out this situation. Your person may have withdrawn their energy from you to go within because they may feel as if you are being deceiving with the seven of swords. Your partner feels as if you are being deceiving at this time. Yeah, something may have been illuminated to them with this Leo, I mean the sun card, Leo's energy. Something may have been. Why is this sun card here? Okay. Something was illuminated to them. Maybe about, maybe pertaining to too many people. Maybe you giving to too many people or trying to, um, Because I see you giving to people, but I also see you managing it wisely. 
But your partner may be looking at it as you're giving to too many people. And you need to hold back and wait. Yeah, three, three of wands. Your partner wants you to wait to distribute this money. Yeah, nine of pentacles. So someone wants you to focus on money, your money alone. Like, focus on your money alone. They may feel like you are, like, going from place to place giving out money. And they don't want you to do that. They want you to focus on focus on um, keeping the finances, you know, like holding back. Like the four of pentacles, managing your, your finances wisely. That's what your partner wants you to do. Because they are looking at it as you're giving it out to too many people. or But that's your money, so you know what you're doing with it. Yeah. See, you may have lots of responsibilities, um, lots of obstacles. I see lots of responsibilities. So you may have to um, If you are distributing money or giving out money to people, these people may be your children, may be your family with this um, ten of cups here. These people may be your family that you're taking. Yeah, see, we have the, the, the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Could be your children, the king of wands. It's a father that takes action. So I'm seeing you may be giving your children money. So let's see. Why is this six of pentacles there? Who are you giving this money to? And look what came out. <laughs> the page of pentacles. Your children. Your loved ones. Yeah. When you're doing this, you're taking this action quickly. You're moving quickly and swiftly. But I still feel like you are managing what you're giving out. Look, the page of cups. These are children. Some of your children may have their hand out. They may have messaged you and asked you for money or something like that. And and look, the king of pentacles is saying the same thing. The father, you're, you're taking care of your children. Yeah, and you're passionate you're passionate about it because things were stuck previously. Pisces energy with that hanging man. Mm -hmm. Yep. The Empress. Libra Taurus energy. Again. The strength. Leo's energy. So you don't have the strength to argue with this person anymore. But your partner sees you as giving out your money to your children. You're passionate about it because you were feeling stuck. You could have been losing money in the past. So now that you have money, you're you're giving it out to your family and your children. That's what parents do. Nurture and take care of their, their home and their children. And you're taming what you want to give to your children. You're taming your desires to give to your children. Yeah. Because you love them. King of Cups, you love them. And you want attention from them. You want some type of recognition and attention. And you want um, stable relationships with them. So you're doing what you have to do to build those relationships.
Let's see what advice Spirit has for you. Spirit, what advice do you have for my Taurians? Oh, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Trust the fact that you are doing the right thing as far as taking care of your children. Okay? Because your intent is right. So, Taurus, this is your reading for the third week in March. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share. Hit the thumbs up image. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of this week. And I will see you next time. Bye.